So I just came back from my second appointment with the IVF doctor. I'm not doing IVF, I'll be doing IUI this month. And I'm super happy I have three big follicles, two at 15 millimeters and one at 13 millimeters. So maybe that one will fall off, I don't know. Which could be good, because this doctor only wants to do my IUI if I only have two. If I have three, he's not gonna wanna do it. So if I have three, I'm probably still gonna do the, the IUI, but with another doctor, which sucks, I'm gonna have to pay $200 extra to get the IUI with that doctor. And I don't trust him very much because he said he wanted to put the sperm pre-wash into the uterus. And for, according to Google, that's not a good idea. You can get some cramping, there's some debris in the sperm. I don't know, we'll see, but if that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do. I just can't do this anymore. So I want this to be my last month, my last month trying to conceive. So cross your fingers for me. Um, so this are my current doctor, Dr. Wang. He thinks everything's looking okay. Um, hopefully, you know, at least two follicles will go forward. I have to go back in two days to do another scan and then more blood work. I won't be taking any more gonal F for this period of time because Hey, I have three follicles, so that's all I wanted, so that's good. Um, and I will probably do the overdraw shot, I don't know, Thursday or Friday, and do the IUI. I'm hoping for Saturday morning, maybe Friday afternoon. Um, so hopefully it's a go, we'll see. I'll find out on Thursday and I'll, I'll make another video then. He said, however, that because I had three follicles, I shouldn't have any sex. It's only CD9 and he's so freaked out that I'm going to get pregnant that I shouldn't do, uh, I shouldn't have sex the whole week. And I'm thinking, um, not going to happen. <laughs> he's telling me to not have sex to prevent pregnancy. If he was telling me to not have sex because that would increase my chances of getting pregnant, I would comply. But I'm not going to not have sex and not get pregnant. Does that make any sense to anybody? So that's not happening. I hope he's not watching my video. Um, but that's it. Um, my lining was 6.1, so that wasn't a big improvement. I might have to go on estrogen patches on Thursday after they get my results from my blood work and I do another scan. They will call me and they'll let me know if I have to do patches or not. But other than that, it's looking beautiful and I'm super excited and I can't wait to get this done and I just, oh my God, I'm counting the minutes until the end of the month so I can finally test and see that positive sign for at least once in my life. So, peace out, that's it.